Have you guys seen Star Wars 7 yet? I have. About six times. But that's okay because I'm a huge Star Wars fan. Which is why I've been playing a lot of Battlefront. So in this map, specifically, I'll be using the Scan Pulse with an Iron Grenade and a Smoke Grenade. And this is an OP setup and I'll tell you why. Also the RT-97C Heavy Blaster Rifle and the Scout Trait. So, what am I talking about with this video? I'm talking about how Scan Pulse is OP and it has no counter. Now you might disagree with my first statement that it's OP, but you can't disagree with the fact that there is no counter to the scan pulse. Now what's a scan pulse? You might be new to Battlefront, so I'm gonna explain it to you. It's a 360 degree pulse burst that reveals enemy soldiers, even if they are behind cover or out of sight. It, re it illuminates them. They're nice and red, you can see them behind walls. And the thing about it is they call it a pulse but it actually lasts for 10 seconds. You can see exactly where they are as they're moving, as they're crouching and hiding. Whatever they're doing, you can see exactly where they are. So if you're about to go around the corner and you don't know if the enemy's there, you can trigger your scan pulse and you'll see if there's an enemy there. If the enemy's coming towards the same corner, you can aim down sights and shoot the enemy exactly as he comes around the corner, making your reaction time pretty much instantaneous. The enemy is at a tremendous disadvantage. Now the thing about a scan pulse is, they are great when you're trying to hunt down campers on cargo, people defending their cargo, drop zone, people trying to defend the escape pod, or droid run, people trying to make sure that you don't take their droid run zone. But also, the other thing about scan pulse is there's no counter. Now I'm going to compare scan pulse to other video games. And the one I'm thinking about right now is Black Ops 2. I don't know if you guys play Call of Duty. If you do, you may have played Call of Duty Black Ops 2. There's a gun attachment called the Target Finder. And what this does is, when the enemy shows up while you're aiming down sights, there is a red diamond that highlights the enemy. This allows you to target the enemy a little bit easier with your weapon shaking while you're shooting and all that stuff. You can target him really easily, even if he's head glitching, and you can shoot him. It's really cheesy. But the thing about the Target Finder is there was a counter. You could throw a smoke grenade and he's not gonna be able to see you. Well, if you don't have a smoke grenade, you can run cold-blooded. Then he's definitely not gonna see you because when you run cold-blooded, there's no red diamond. So here's my idea for how to counter the scan pulse. And it's gonna take a little bit of effort on the part of DICE and EA to implement this into the game. So let's get started. The first thing I wanna talk about is what is it that you can equip that's going to allow you to counter scan pulse? What are you going to have to give up so that you can counter scan pulse? And I was thinking about it. I don't think it should be a normal card where you have to ignite it while you're going into a, wherever you're going to go or while you're defending. It, I think it should be a trait. Very similar to scout or bounty hunter or sharpshooter or all those other traits. This is a trait card that's always going to be active. If you like running scout so you can stay off radar but you don't want scan pulse, you're going to have to give up scout and run a trait. If you like running bounty hunter, like on drop zone, so you can keep getting those power-ups, you're going to have to get rid of bounty hunter so that you can run this trait. So what's the trait called? The trait's called infiltrator. Yeah, infiltrator. You're going to infiltrate the enemy base and their scan pulses are not going to be able to do anything to you. Now, on a side note, I, I made this little graphic with Photoshop. Now, Dice and EA use a font called Brandon Grotesque in order to populate or, you know, it's the font they use for their website to make everything look nice and clean. Well, that font costs $249. And guess who's got two thumbs and is not going to pay $249 for a font? This guy. So I use Futura, which is very similar. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Infiltrator. Living the life of a smuggler affords one the ability and technology to slip into most areas more heavily guarded than most. Level 1, medium chance of evading enemy scan pulses, and level 2 is a high chance of evading enemy scan pulses. Level 3, however, you're going to evade all the enemy scan pulses and appear as an ally to enemy weapons and equipment. Now, what does that mean? That means that little kid who's sitting over on the edge of the map with his homing rifle, because it's the only way he can get kills, he's not going to kill you, buddy, because you're a level 3 infiltrator. That means all those enemy turrets and the droids that are popped up, they're not going to be able to kill you because you're a level 3 infiltrator. That means when you go over to take the enemy cargo, you know that proximity mine? <laughs> That's not going to get you. 
Oh, and when you're going over to the drop zone to try to flip that drop zone over to your team? No, that's not going to get you either because the level three infiltrator is going to make you immune to all that cheese. Now, considering all the things I've said, I believe that the infiltrator trait is a very viable trait. It's actually going to make people think about turning in their scout or their bounty hunter to run this trait instead. Let's face it, nobody runs those other traits. Scout and bounty hunter are really the only traits that are useful right now. But with this thing running, I'm telling you what. I'm running on a map. Everybody's spamming the crap out of homing rifles. And there's freaking turrets everywhere and droids. And I know everybody on the enemy team's got a, a scan pulse. I will be switching to infiltrator because that stuff is annoying. Let's face it. But there you go. There's my idea. It's a new trait. It's the only way to counter scan pulse. Oh, by the way, I'm teabagging because this team was... They've been pissing me off. They've been camping with scan pulse. And yeah, they were making me angry. And we finally went up 8-2. It had been a bunch of draws before we got to this map. Anyway... Leave a comment down in the comment section. Let me know what you think of my idea. Maybe you got an idea of your own. Maybe you don't think scan pulse is an issue. But leave a comment so we can have a discussion about this. But thank you for watching. I'm going to let you watch the rest of the video on your own without me talking. And I'll see you next time. Adios. Stormtroopers are in possession of the cargo. Cargo picked up. Protect it. Stormtroopers are holding up in here. Stormtroopers are in possession of the cargo. Troopers are in possession of the cargo. The cargo is in our hands. Escorted back. 
Back to base. Captured the cargo. Well done. Cargo. Cargo. 